So 11 Labs is advertised as the most realistic text-to-speech software available today. Their technology enables you to use AI to clone your own voice or create a brand new voice just like out of thin air that is audibly stunning and sounds like an actual real human. I mean, if you could imagine, there are a variety of different ways you could use this like immediately to like market your business or you know promote your brand or, or even create a product around this technology. Like if you wrote a book, I mean you could use 11 Labs to create the audio version of that book or I mean you could create like an audio avatar that you could use to like narrate your YouTube videos or even your social media content or you know even translate your content into foreign language. Esto es solo por causa de un sandwich. There's so many possibilities. And so in this video, you're going to learn how to use 11 Labs and you're going to see what it is actually capable of. So if you find any value, please remember to like this video. Thank you. And let's just go ahead and jump in. So to get started with 11 Labs, you need to first establish an account. Now, they do have a free level and for some, I mean, that's going to be enough. I actually went with this one right here. I mean, this is like the starter level and let me explain why I went with this one. Uh, the free level gives you access to their pre-made voices and you can even tweak those voices to in essence create a brand new voice. But if you want to clone your own voice or a voice that you have a sample of, then you need to move up to the starter level. and. That's what I'm actually looking to do, so that's what I'm going to go with. Now, the, the creator level is actually pretty attractive as well, and I may, like, at some point, like, upgrade because it actually gives you access to, like, the HD version of your voice. Um, but since I'm going to just, like, test this out on, like, some, some social media content, that super high-quality version may actually not be necessary right now. Um, also, 11 Labs has some new features that they're going to be rolling out soon that will only be available to creators. So it actually may be worth it at some point, but I, you know, I'll let you decide on which level is right for you. So once your account is all set up, you're immediately placed into the speech synthesis page. Now all accounts, I mean even the free account, have access to this page. And this is like the main page where your voice outputs are created. Um, in the settings area, you will see a few different drop downs. Now if you click the first drop down, I mean you're going to see a list of like all of your available voices. By default, your account is loaded with a few pre-made male and female voices that you can choose from. Uh, for example, I mean, here's what Adam sounds like. If you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always gotten. Great. And you know what? Here's what Bella sounds like. You cannot find yourself by going into the past. You can find yourself by coming into the present. Pretty good, right? I mean, you definitely could use these. I mean, if you wanted to, to record like an audio book or like a commercial, these voices would be basically ready to go. So the next drop down is your voice settings and it is here where you can make, you know, some small tweaks to the voice you're working with. Um, you have the control over the stability and the clarity and you know what I've discovered that there's basically a balance you want to go with uh, for example you know too much stability and the voice can sound too plain but adding more variable can cause like little impediments in the voice so you sort of have to kind of play around with it um, to give you an idea of like these settings and how they affect the voice. I mean, here's Adam at 15% stability. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. Great. I mean, so more inflection in his voice and a little more interesting, right? I mean, would you agree? Okay, one more. Um, here's Adam with the clarity and similarity enhancement lower to 15%. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. So I mean, you can like hear it, right? The voice slow, slows down a little bit on a few words, making it sound a little more natural. But again, um, I believe like your personal goal will dictate these settings. So the last drop down allows you to choose your rendering model. By default, 11 monolingual for English is chosen. but. If you would like to convert your text into other languages, then you can choose their multilingual model. Um, now below the settings area is the text area, and it is here that you can copy and paste in your text. I mean, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Right, Jagger. Uh, now, if you click the add voice button, or if you choose voice lab in the navigation bar, you are sent to the voice labs page. Um, on the voice lab page, I mean, you can click the big plus symbol to begin creating a new custom voice. 
The first option is to design a voice using their elements. After you click the button, you can begin generating a voice. So I'm gonna start with, you know, like a female voice and let's go ahead and choose middle age and let's go with an Australian accent. And then let's hit generate so we can hear, you know, hear what she sounds like. First, we thought the PC was a calculator. Then we found out how to turn numbers into letters. I like, I like it. Um, so I'm gonna hit use voice and give her a name. Let's go ahead and call her Susan. And so you can see that like Susan now appears on my lab screen and I can edit her or remove her at any time I choose. Great, so Voice Lab also allows you to clone your own voice as well, which is pretty cool. And this can come in handy if you wanna create content that sounds like you, but you just don't have the time to sit down and record that content. And so to do this, you wanna click the big plus icon again and then choose instant voice cloning. Now, to clone your voice or a voice you have permission to clone, you will need to first have a recording of your voice. Obviously, I have recording equipment, right? But I decided to use the voice recorder on my iPhone for the sample. Also, um, Eleven Labs recommends a voice recording that lasts about a minute or two, but not too much longer than two minutes. Uh, my recording is about 15 seconds. Sorry, Eleven Labs, sorry. <laughs> Um, so all I need to do was add my name and upload my recordings to get started. They also give you the opportunity to add labels such as accent or ethnicity and a description which can be helpful if you're creating multiple voices. Uh, so once you add your voice, it is immediately available on your voice lab screen and it's basically ready to get used. So let's just go ahead and head back over to our synthesis page and try out my voice. And you can see here in the drop down, my voice and Susan's voice now appears. So let's hear how I sound with this text. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the spring of hope. Interesting. I mean, not bad. I mean, I think if I spent a little more time recording as Eleven Labs has suggested, it would probably be even closer to my voice. But even still, that's pretty good for using a 15 second clip I recorded on my iPhone. So overall, I mean, this is a pretty powerful tool that has many interesting applications. I mean, connecting this with something like ChatGPT, I mean, I can see how someone could grow like an entire YouTube channel or an Instagram account and easily monetize it with very little effort. Um, Eleven Labs has done a good job of arming us with a very powerful tool that's not overwhelming to use at all. And for a buck your first month and only five, $5 per month after that, I mean, it's at least worth playing around with it and seeing what you can get out of it. I mean, AI has definitely come a long way and I feel like this is just the beginning. But you know what, let me know your thoughts. I mean, have you tried this, you know, text to speech technology? What do you think? Please let me know in the comments. Also, I mean, what are some interesting ways you can use this tool? Please also let me know in the comments. And lastly, I wanna thank you for your time. Your time is so valuable to me, so I do hope you found value and until next time,